Well, after what may have been the world's most boring drive, cutting across Wyoming from the southwest corner up to the northeast corner, we have made it to Devil's Tower National Monument. It took me about eight and a half hours to get here from the Grand Teton area. We're gonna check this out a little bit, and then we've gotta find a place to camp because it's already coming up on 6 p.m. So let's get a move on, book it around this tower. Well, not only is the Devil's Tower just an insane piece of geology and nature at work, but it's also a place of great significance for the indigenous peoples of the area. So all throughout the National Monument and the trees at the base and, and moving up towards the boulder zone, you'll see these little prayer bundles and prayer flags that have been left there for uh, religious or cultural reasons. This spot is also home to a ton of wildlife that I've never seen outside of a David Attenborough documentary. Uh, apparently it's full of porcupines. There's a prairie dog village that we'll stop at on the way down. Uh, a lot of birds use the tower to nest. Falcons, golden eagles, things like that. Nature blows my mind. Amazingly enough, People don't just come to this tower to look at it. They actually come here to climb up it. Blows my mind. There is weather moving in, however. So the climbers that are halfway up are making their way down. I'm gonna book it back to the car. Severe thunderstorm warning in effect for this area. Let's see if I can outrun it. Get somewhere where I'll be dry tonight. Cause last night was a rainy one. Well, I'm certainly no David Attenborough and the footage of the Prairie Dog Village probably doesn't do it justice because the dang things just blend in so well. But there are hundreds upon hundreds of silly, goofy looking little prairie dogs just walking around, grabbing something to eat, sitting up, munching on it, going back down. Really crazy. I don't know why they all congregated here. Uh, must be some good eating. Well, I just had myself a great little bison burger here at this roadside Devil's Tower view, home of the Buffalo Burger. They're not lying about the view. Let me see if I can show you this here. So there's Devil's Tower off in the distance. Not a bad way to spend 12 bucks on a dinner and a drink. Now, I'm off towards Custer, South Dakota, where we should find ourselves a spot to do some dispersed camping in the Black Hills National Forest. Well guys, I've got a confession to make. This holiday in behind me was where I ended up camping for the night last night. As soon as I left Devil's Tower, the rain started and the torrential downpour followed me all the way into South Dakota and the Black Hills National Forest. It was about 9 p.m. by the time I got to uh, the Black Hills and the rain just would not let up. I tried three separate uh, forest service roads and as soon as I got 10 feet off the highway, I was slipping and sliding in the mud. It was dark. I don't know the area very well. I decided my best bet was to continue on five miles down the highway and, and call it a night here. All right, so with a good night's sleep under our belt, the plan for the day is for us to keep heading east. We're gonna hit Custer State Park, which has some awesome roads and tunnels and, and things for us to drive on. Also has a herd of buffalo in the park that is just supposed to be mind blowing. And then we'll continue on to Badlands National Park as well. So it should be a pretty exciting day with a lot of cool stuff for us to see. We've made it into Custer State Park, which 
not surprisingly, is uh, only about five minutes from the town of Custer, South Dakota. And there are things to do in every corner of this state park. Down in the southeast corner where we're heading right now is uh, the bison hauler, or it's where, it's where the herd of bison have been hanging out recently, I guess. So we're gonna go check that out. Uh, up in the northeast corner is uh, some of these granite tunnels leading through the mountains up towards Mount Rushmore. And then on the northwest corner is uh, Sylvan Lake and, and some more of those granite spires and, and thin, narrow granite tunnels that'll make us feel like we need to go on a diet. So we're gonna hit every corner of this park and we're gonna get Mount Rushmore in here too. So a lot to do and it should be pretty fun. made it to Mount Rushmore here. That's uh, that right up there. I don't know if this is bad to say, but maybe it feels a little bit underwhelming. I think the history is incredible. The 400 people who worked tirelessly to create this monument is incredible. I guess my whole life I just thought it'd be bigger. I don't know. It's really strange. It's strange to be here for the first time in, in 29 years, and it just feels a little underwhelming. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it's cool. It's cool nonetheless. Well, we just fueled up and grabbed a bite to eat in Custer, uh, back where we started this morning. And now we are on the road to Badlands National Park. Let's do it. Well, if you're heading to Badlands and have never heard of Wall Drug, that is sure to change because it's just about the only billboard on the highway for the entirety of the drive. So it only felt right to stop here in the small town of Wall, South Dakota, to stop in at Wall Drug, which is just a massive store of all the roadside curios and knickknacks you could ever want. And it takes up basically the entire left side of the Main Street downtown area. So, huh, is it worth a stop? Maybe just to say you've been there. To be quite honest with you, I don't actually know much about Badlands National Park. Other than what I'm quickly finding out is that it is home to prairie dogs, buffalo, and apparently rattlesnakes. Well, I'm at the first overlook. This is. Pinnacles Overlook, it's the first stopping point you come to when you come through the, the gate on the wall side. I am not sure if any photos or videos I take of this place are gonna do it justice. It is just so mind blowing. The structure and formation of these spires and pinnacles and different structures that are out there. Well, it's just after 5.30 right now, and I finally made it to the other edge of the park where the visitor center is, the gift shop, all of that stuff. Uh, of course, the visitor center is closed, but they had a couple of extra maps with some additional information on there. And one of the things that I was trying to find out is just the rules on backcountry camping. And it turns out backcountry camping is allowed and there's no permits required. So I've eyeballed a couple of spots on the map that I wanna go check out. Uh, and while I was here, 
I went ahead and picked up something to eat. Some of South Dakota's finest Indian fry bread. I'm gonna chow down on this while it's still warm and then we'll get ourselves pointed in the right direction at camp and see if we can't find a place to set up for the night right here in the park. That'll be pretty special. We'll see you soon. Wow, this is really special. Just three bighorn sheep right here grazing. Beautiful, absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. made it to camp. It is just now coming up on a quarter after seven and I've got to show you this incredible campsite we have here in the back country of Badlands National Park. So right behind me is the Badlands themselves and that is going to be our view that we wake up to. Sun's going to rise right over there. Holy crap. And on the other side where the sun is setting, it's gonna make it hard for you to see anything, but man, that sunset sure is beautiful. Oh, almost fell right there. The sun setting over the Black Hills over there. So Custer State Park, Mount Rushmore, all of that goodness is what we're looking out over on that side. Well, as we lose the last little bit of daylight here, the sun is fully gone behind the Black Hills now. I think that'll do it for this leg of the journey. It's been great having you guys along for this ride. We've seen and done a lot of cool stuff so far. I'm absolutely pumped. We have even more in store for you. As always, if you like this video, if you enjoy what we're doing, it's a huge help just to give it that thumbs up. Maybe drop a comment, let me know what your favorite part has been so far. And if you're new here, maybe consider subscribing and sticking around for a while because we'd love to have you and we would hate for you to miss out on what's coming next. Until next time though, get out and explore somewhere.